You're watching Otto Zunon and this is Saudi Arabia. If Saudi Arabia is on your travel list, stick around. Please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next episodes. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, write down a comment, and share it with your travel buddies. Welcome to Riyadh, the capital city of Saudi Arabia. In this episode, we will visit the Archaeological Museum of King Saud University. We will visit the Riyadh Historical District. We will climb to the top of Al Faisal Tower, where we will have a panoramic view on the city of Riyadh and watch a football game of Al Hilal. As always, we start our day in the capital with a light breakfast at Starbucks. Hello, Vincent. How was your trip? Two weeks ago, we called it Erin. But it's interesting. If we want to live the moment, on est complètement sorti de notre zone de confort, c'est pas pire, mais ravi ça aussi. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, sabah al -hay. During our crossing of the desert in episode 13, we visited the site of Al Fao in the heart of the empty quarter. Dr. Ajam Mohammed Al Hotibi had offered us to visit a museum where most of the artifacts discovered during the excavation of the site can be found. We then went to the College of Tourism and Archaeology of King Saud University where Dr. Mohammed Al Tibi generously welcomed Ancient. us. Ancient. And they go out uh, outside. Yeah, north for Iraq and this uh, is and you know yeah, globali yeah. globalization was uh, yeah. Com com was commerce uh, way bef very before. It was even Dr. Al Tibi who introduced us to the exhibition. Uh, Miro. Mira, yes. Also known as the Museum of Antiquities, the place houses one of the most important collection of ancient Saudi artifacts, a treasure of objects unearthed from the main archaeological site of the kingdom and a direct link to the country's past. The exhibition was created especially to show the treasure of Kariat Alpha. Among the objects on display, are bronze keys, door handles, door knockers, and wooden chests. There are also magnificent statuettes of human, horses, and dolphins that bear witness to a thriving and rich artistic community. I saw... I saw sketch -roll. Highlights of the collection are the beautiful small Hellenic and Roman statues of Apollo and Heracles. 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 Alfao. Alfao, eh? A house? A house, yes. Inside the house? Inside, inside the house. Just the big one in the middle. The color frescoes found on the wall of the houses, albatters, fragments, silver balls, golden rings, and other jewelries, all dating back to the first centuries, are incredible. Ah, Vincent, où on va te manger ce midi? Notre classique de voyage. Qu'est-ce qu'il y a de spécial chez McDo ici? On dit bien. Ah ouais. 
spécialise dans les beignes. Tu prendras pas de beignes? On va aller au Duncan à côté. On est aussi mauvais, mais au moins on est habitué. Diria is an area on the outskirts of the capital, known to be the cradle of the Saud royal family. In 1727, Mohammed ibn Saud took control of it and made it the capital of the first Saudi state from 1744 until 1818, when the Ottomans took it over, causing the collapse of the Saudi kingdom. In addition, the city is positioning itself as a venue for international events, notably with the presentation of Formula E, a tennis tournament, music festival, to name a few. Today, this district is inscribed on the list of the UNESCO World Heritage. Alors Vincent, peux-tu nous expliquer un petit peu la pancarte? Bien sûr, parce qu'ici en Arabie Saoudite, vous connaissez un petit peu les habitudes de conduite pour ceux qui ont vu quelques vidéos. Ils ont de la difficulté en automobile, donc on leur explique maintenant comment se stationner de façon appropriée pour bien être en parallèle avec les, les lignes de cours. Like most people visiting the kingdom, we enjoyed the exceptional view of downtown Riyadh from Al Faisal Tower. The advantage of the site is that you can take pictures and admire the Kingdom Tower, the new icon of the Saudi capital. This splendid view reminds us how Saudi Arabia is a country in transformation since most of the skyscrapers you see did not exist just a few years ago and projects are growing at a frenetic pace. Between 1974 and 1992, the population of the capital grew on average by 8.2% per year. In 1935, there were 30,000 inhabitants. In 1972, there were 500,000 inhabitants and its population is now estimated at 7.7 million. The city has 15 municipalities and a diplomatic quarter. We forget it, but Riyadh was first an agglomeration of small villages located at the confluence of several wadis where the water was underground and easily accessible. The name Rihan comes from the word Rada, which means garden. Welcome to King Saud Stadium the new home since 2017 of Al Hilal Football Club. We choose to go and see a match of this club to take the pulse of the Saudis. Without a ticket in our hands, our visit to this venue was incredible since we were unable to get there with Ellen, the only woman in the group. Since 2018, women are allowed to attend soccer games, but they are only admitted in the so-called family sections. Me and Nicola did enter for about 10 minutes to soak up the local atmosphere. Why? 
Bongo! On essaie comment tu surmontes ça quand on est enceinte. Plus fort. I hope you enjoyed that episode of Autour du Monde in Saudi Arabia. If you like our content, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Watch some image of our next episode.